Hey everybody, my name is Ed LaCara and I am uh, right now in my clinic in Dallas, Texas, Body Balance Park Cities. And I wanted to do this video to show how to find your limb occlusion pressure for your upper extremity when you don't have a Doppler ultrasound. So I'm gonna take you through that. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is put a sleeve. This is a, a two-ply sleeve um, to protect my skin. And I'm gonna put this onto my upper arm. You can also go on top of a long shirt. If you don't have sensitive skin, a lot of times we'll just go uh, directly on the skin, but I wanted to at least show this. And you can get these on Amazon really easy, dual ply. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments. Okay, so now what I need is my cuff. <clears throat> Okay, so um, I'm gonna take my cuff and if you notice, I put it through the D ring and then flap it under. Now I want this stem to face forward so that it's a lot easier for me to attach my pump on. So I'm gonna throw this on and I'm going as high up as I can, right below the deltoid. So I'm, I'm up as high as I can on the arm. Okay. Now you can see I've got the stem facing forward. And it's gonna be a lot easier for me to attach my pump. So now I'm gonna take the edge here, you can see, I depress that little clip and then it should easily snap into place, okay? Now, we need to know how much pressure to use that's safe yet also effective. And so what we're gonna do first do is find our limb occlusion pressure, which is defined as the amount of pressure necessary in the cuff in order to fully occlude, not allow any blood flow in and no venous return out. Now we're not gonna train at this level, but we're gonna find it so we know what level to train at. I'm gonna find my pulse. Now, ideally, you could have somebody do this for you, but I'm going to just find my pulse. Okay, I can feel it really uh, physical there. It's really easy to find. Now I'm gonna inflate this until I no longer feel that pulse. I'm gonna do just really slow. So I'm gonna lift my arm so you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, very slow until I no longer feel the pulse with my other hand. Almost there. Okay, so right there, I'm at 118. Okay, so 118. So now what I'm gonna do is I know on my right side with me upright, I have 118 as my limb occlusion pressure. So I'm gonna deflate that. And with this gauge, all I have to do is just press this. Some gauges, you have to turn it. So you'll either have to turn it or to close it, just like a blood pressure cuff. So I'm gonna deflate this. Okay. Now, 118 on my right. Now I'm gonna go do this on my left. Up as high as I can. Now take it as tight as you can get it. Okay, and again, this is facing forward, so it's really easy for me I depress, I clip in, and now I'm going to find my pulse, relax the arm, and I lost the pulse there, and that's at 118, so they're both the same. 
So you're going to ask, why did I do both sides? Well, sometimes we have different pulse uh, limb occlusion pressure on one side versus the other. That could be for a lot of different reasons. The biggest reason I see in the clinic is um, one side of the body is a little larger than the other side. And so that will change uh, your LOP. Now we don't train at this. What we do is if I'm going to go do some bicep curls now, I would reduce the pressure to 50% at max, 50%. You can even do 40%. So something between like 40 and 50% limb occlusion pressure. Um, and uh, that's how we do it. That's our upper extremity. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks.